Hello everyone, it's just Twinplays here, back in another video. I hope you guys are doing great. It has just been a bit, we recently left off with the hat and face command. Now, for you guys wondering, I did just update that model, so if you want, go back to that. Um, it works perfectly fine now. Um, for you guys wondering what this video is about, it is about the overhead UIs. Now, the one thing about it that we added was display names. Now, people were like, oh, you know, how can we get display names? I, I didn't really think we should add it because it's just kind of like unnecessary, but... Um, one of my helpers, Vex, he's decided to make the model, and I decided to make this video just a short, quick one, and I'll explain how to use it and what you need to do. Um, you really don't have to worry about anything, but I'm also going to explain a few problems that people have been having and how to fix them, because uh, a lot of people are like, oh, uh, this thing's not working, or this isn't there. So, um, yeah, we're going to help you out with that. But, um, yeah, so feel free to click that subscribe button if you are new to the channel, and the post notifications mean so much to me, guys. Because if you do, you will no be notified when I make a new video that can help you out with your Roblox game. So, also join the Discord because it is in the description. And we're almost at 800 members. It's pretty late, guys. It's a little bit dead, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, so um, you're basically gonna go to the description, look for models. Now, this model is made by Fexies. Um, he is a developer too, and he's my helper. Uh, so I'm just gonna give the model to him. I'm not gonna create a new one, so you guys can go get it. He'll have a lot of sales. But, um, yeah, he gave my credits, too. But he just added display names. Um, I didn't really want to take my time out. And it was kind of easy, too, though, if you think about it. And I'll show you what we did. Um, but, um, yeah, so go over here. Just click that, and you get it in your inventory. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's super simple. Um, when you spawn it in, you're going to go to Toolbox, and it should load up. It should be the first one right up here. And you're basically going to get this folder. Now, when you get this folder, it is going to look like this. It's going to spawn in a bunch of things. So... I'm going to quickly talk about some uh, problems that have been happening, but you're going to just delete this, and you know what, let's actually do what he wants to do. So, let's ungroup this in workspace, so this is where you ungroup everything, start character, oh god, I'm getting hiccups, and then we're going to go in server script service and do these few of these, so server script service, and then replicated storage of these guys, so actually, oops, here we go, grab these and put them in replicated, there we go and delete okay so few things now um if you are here from if you've already done this before uh you don't need to worry about anything um you're gonna just uh load in uh actually just this overhead script i wouldn't recommend loading in this because this already you probably already changed these ids and if you do load in a new script it probably is going to unsave everything so don't do that just do the overhead script right here now I'm going to display a few problems. People have been not having to have this go above their head. A few things you do need to enable if you want this to happen in studio. You need to go to security and you need to allow, I would say, everything if you just want. Don't worry about it. Third-party teleports and third-party cells you don't need to worry about. Um, and HTTP, actually just put that on too. Uh, just uh, API services. This is the data stores. This is because um, our cache and minute script only works if data stores is on. So game setting securities, turn that on. And then um, make sure everything is grouped in the right, ungrouped in the right place. So everything is. And then we're gonna change a few things for this. Um, it should work either way. But um, one problem that has been happening is people are deleting this donation board. So if you are deleting this now, um, I there's like an issue where um, if you delete it, your overhead script's gonna break. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that. But donation board guys. I honestly would recommend deleting it if you're starting a new game. Just don't have it for now until I get an update because it is breaking the data stores. It is like adding so much to data stores and that is why the cache UI, the add button, is not working and I just figured that out and it's really weird. So um, this isn't like, there's nothing wrong with your game, it's just this bow, donation board is adding too much to the data store. But um, so let's say you don't want the donation board, uh, we're going to delete this and we're actually just going to fix that. So you're going to go to overhead script and you're going to go down to, let's say, right here. Um, you're going to delete these right here. So we're actually just going to get rid of this and then donate your overhead UI. So let's get rid of that. Um, and also, if you want a quick fix, like let's say you just want to remove it for now, you could just go all the way down here where it says donator. You could just do player.name for uh, this right here. And I'm also going to show you guys how to add another player. So we already deleted that. And then we'll go donator overhead UI, delete that. And then right here, we're actually just going to delete this. So right there, we're good like that. Now, let's say you want to add another owner. Um, you're just going to copy this from here, and then you are basically going to paste it right here. 
Once you do that, you need to make sure to add else if. Um, this makes sure that a uh, person is either, you know, of this name or not. And then you're just going to change this to another say. So twin plays dev 2. And then um, you can clone these, make all you want. Uh, you can say vibe creator or you can say uh, vibe developer, co-owner, you know, anything you want to say, basically. It's pretty simple. Um, but... Yeah, a lot of this is kind of confusing for some people, and I kind of explained it in the last video. I didn't want to go too much over it, but level is the player dot minutes, and that's the only way it's displayed. Make sure to change the group ID and gate pass ID. Now, a lot of people who don't have a group ID, this is where you go down and find anything that had to do with the group ID, which was um, right here. Roll. You could just delete that and go rake dot text is something, or you know, just figure that out somehow. Um, but I recommend having a group if you have a five gamer or something like that. So, uh, that should work. And then we have the cash minute leaderboard saves. Double check to change this. This is the three times. This is the two times. Now, if you do want this to be in the top right corner so you can see their levels, you just do it right here and say leader stats. Now that makes sure that it's, you can see if uh, they are able to see it. Now, if you do change it to leader stats, you are going to go have to go down to right over here and go player dot leader stats uh, dot minutes dot value um, that's for it to save and also you have to go in the overhead script and change this to player dot leader stats dot minutes um, that is because it is located in a different area um, but yeah so that's just a simple basic afk handler you don't have to worry about this is just for when people tab out and in um, now what we added was the display names. Well, what Fexies added was the display names. So when it goes player.name, there's this new thing where it does player.displayName. This is a new, uh, attribute, I guess you could say, to Roblox. So, you just click that, um, once you have, I mean, you don't need to touch anything, sorry guys, that's what I meant to say. This is what we do for display name, and then also, I think he did change it in AFK. Yes, he did change it in AFK too, um, cause that is what we do. So let's say if we play this, let's see if this works. Um, um, I'm going to show you real quick, uh, what it is like. Um, now if you guys are confused, just ask in the description. I'm sorry. That's probably the best thing to do. But, um, as you can tell, this is what it looks like. My display name's twin and it'll put it like that. So it's pretty simple. You guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please comment, like, subscribe and share. Um, yeah, go give thumbs up to Vexies, man. He, he did the display names super simple but uh, i just kind of wanted to explain of those few problems that people have been having um so um yeah that's pretty much it okay yes you guys i will see you in the next one